it's a bit late to be out on your own, isn't it? <sighs> Don't look so frightened, child. Surely I'm not the first to accost you this evening? Or perhaps I am. The gloom of foggy midnight hides many a beggar and thief. And those of such dangerous temperament tend to act before speaking, yes? What is your name, traveler? Oh, oh come now. I ask only your name, child, nothing more. Surely a name is not such a difficult thing to share. Even with a stranger looking in the shadows of the streetlights. Well? Oh, what a lovely name. Certainly one worth sharing. Now what sort of business might lure such an interesting person with such a lovely name into the dark street? You seem unaccustomed to the stillness of the night. Unaware of the customs of those who dwell in the midnight hours. Perhaps it is not by choice that you dance from streetlight to streetlight. Perhaps you would prefer the light of day to the cold of night. Who am I? Oh, of course. <sighs> Forgive my poor manners. So overtaken was I by curiosity that all sense of decorum abandoned me when it was needed most. Allow me to introduce myself. <clears throat> to most, I am an observer, an academic, an intellectual. I am no mere representative of some academy. I am no man of letters. Mine is the study of people, of the world above that in which I dwell, of the performance of civilized society. I lurk in the shadows, watching the people of the sun as they go about their affairs. I see them progress, see them improve, see them build, see them fail, see them falter. Sometimes, I see those who slip through the cracks. Those without whom the world continues to turn. Those who suddenly find themselves at society's periphery, lost, and on their own. Those like me, and those like you. That's really more of a hobby, though. A means of whittling away the hours until I can carry out my most important tasks. Until I can perform. Where do I perform? Why, the only place worth performing. The underground carnival. You haven't heard of it. Allow me to enlighten you. Listen carefully, child. There is a world beyond your own. Below it, in fact, an entire ecosystem thrives beneath your feet, never before witnessed by surface dwellers. A new society, forged from the iron of the shackles of the old. A mother to the lost and the weary, who comforts and soothes and brings joy in those places where the sunlight dares not touch. She is a place of merriment, a community without judgment, where people like you and I are free to be ourselves. She is as old as time. She has existed long before me and will exist long after. She is known by many names, regarded as legend and myth among the top folk, but to those cradled in her warm embrace, she is our carnival. No, 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 she is not my carnival child. No one owns her, and no one ever can. 
I am merely a, a representative, shall we say. A performer in our great carnival, spending his days ferrying lost souls to the place below. <laughs> oh, heavens, look at me, so caught up in the melodrama of it all that I failed to actually introduce myself. That's the performer in me, I suppose. <clears throat> you may call me James Child. And now that I've told you who I am, what I am, it seems only fair that you tell me more about yourself. Namely about what you're doing out this late at night. I have a hunch, but I'm very eager to hear it from you. Tell me, do top dwellers normally enjoy taking midnight walks on unfamiliar roads? Do their shoulders typically ache under the weight of their scarce belongings tossed hurriedly into a burlap sack? Do they commonly cavort with shadowy, unsavory characters such as myself? Is it the rain which wets the cheeks of the top dweller? Or is that the purview of their own reddened? Come here, child. Come out of the rain. I've trailed you for nearly an hour without your noticing, traveler. Had I wished harm upon you, you would already be harmed. Now come here. There you are, child. Is that not better? You are without a destination, are you not? Mm hmm, as I feared. No, 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 child. You are not lost. How could you be when I've so easily found you? Uh, of course you have somewhere to go, dear. To be made unwelcome in your old home is not to be made unwelcome in all homes. In fact, I dare say that, no matter the reason for your exile, any home whose comfort and warmth can be rescinded, any house whose master accepts you conditionally, that is no home at all, child. Though I mean you no further distress, I swear, I would venture to say that the house from which you fled was never truly a home at all. A house is any collection of walls and a roof, any common shelter, a physical thing, but a home, a home is a place that loves and soothes, a house in which you are safe, a family in which you belong. A home can never reject you because you are intrinsic to it. You have never known a home, my poor child. You have merely been housed and fed. Would you like a home, dear? You heard me. Do you desire a home? A hearth to warm your cold, aching body. A shelter from the rain and the sun. A place that will neither reject nor refuse a family of misfits just like you. Oh, of course. Of course there are others like you, child. There always have been. And there always will be. You are not alone. Nor have you ever been. You've merely been unaware. Unaware of who you are, unaware of what you are, unaware of that beautiful, glittering gem lurking beneath the dreary cobblestone and brick. The carnival, child. 
the mother of all misfits. She cares for all of her children. She will care for you too, if you so desire. Oh, of course. Any who enter are always free to leave. The carnival is a home, not a prison. Well. Hmm. Then follow me, child. Your new life awaits. Like what we've done with the place? Yes, she's definitely a touch larger than one might expect. It's taken many years of expanding and improving to make all of this possible, but the carnival is our home, and we give willingly so that she might be a good home. <laughs> so tell me, how surprised were you to find none of us being gawked at from behind bars? <laughs> I have introduced many to the carnival over the years, child. So many arrive with the expectation of seeing us as carnival attractions rather than people. But no, here we live as equals, not as curiosities to be mocked or ridiculed, but as joyous participants in a lively spectacle of electric light and boundless love. Love for ourselves, love for each other, and love for you, child. You are one of us, after all. Hmm? Oh, that. That's the stage, dear. What's it for? Well, it's for anyone and anything. In fact, Oh dear, look at the time. It's actually for me, as a matter of fact. As I said before, I do enjoy performing. And as organizer of this particular section of the carnival, I am all but expected to put on a show for our lovely family. Now, if you'll excuse me. Now gather around the stage, dear children, gather siblings all. Listen to my story, how I joined our carnival. In the heat of June in decades past, in summer sticky sweet, a flower bloomed, pushed through the cracks, sprang up to graze my feet. This perfect plant, this wondrous thing, defying God and man, I plucked it from the cobblestone with soft and shaking hand. The velvet softness of its petals hid its rigid thorns. In violence of its uprooting was my defiance born. With first prick of the finger came the first step toward the fall. A flower from our mother, our beloved carnival. Into a glass the flower went, resilient and bright. It mocked me as I cleaned the wounds it dealt me in our fight. I've bested you, I sneered at it. I've claimed you as my own. I'll trade you to my love, then I'll no longer be alone. To Riley, with skin so fair and physique so petite, the merest thought of my beloved filled my cheeks with heat. The cloudless sky shone crimson as I crept toward the fall. A sunset from our mother, our beautiful carnival. I inked a note, then inked it twice, then inked it twice again. I wrote until my fingers ached, clutched round the fountain pen. In graceful swirling cursive was my declaration made. On Riley's doorstep, wrapped around the flower, it was laid. And with my mother late that night, I shared my scheme with glee. I should have known to hold my tongue for Riley. was a he. 
The bedroom door absorbed her blows as I packed for the fall. A moment's peace from mother, our protective carnival. Through endless night and empty streets, I set out on my own. With no one left to call upon, nowhere to call my home. To sweet Riley I staggered, to my one true love was drawn, slipped through the iron gate and crawled across the muddy lawn. But in that sanctuary, where I'd hoped to heal my hurt, under my shoe a note and trampled flower in the dirt. Still strong and bright, the blossom stood, undaunted by its fall. The flower always meant for me, for Mother Carnival. The dirt beneath the cobblestone, the green below the sprawl. Below the earth I went to learn the reason for my fall. I found you here, I found you all, this motley misfit gang. A family from whose boundless love a million blossoms sprang. We ate, we sang, we laughed, we cried, we learned to trust each other. More strangers found us and became our sisters, brothers, others. Safe and warm, defiant, each of us survived our fall. We are the gifts born of our mother, nurturing Carnival. But as our numbers grow, as more outsiders join our flock, our roots grow deep and strong, united, pushing through the rock. The world up there grows cold without us, lifeless and banal. To spite us, they've abandoned love, let it wither in the fall. But spring has sprung, Topsider, and warm summer follows soon. And through the cracks, a million thorny flowers sprout in June. Their priests say as above below, no, as below above. We children of the carnival will teach them how to love. Thanks for listening. If you made it all the way to the end of this audio, be sure to leave a comment that says, As below, so above. This has been a production of Whisper Home Audio. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. If you're interested in accessing more of our amazing content, including early access to YouTube audios, a private Discord, and exclusive spicy content you won't find anywhere else, Join our Whisper Home Audio customer rewards program at patreon.com slash whisper audio. Special thanks as always to my Whisper Whisperers dear patrons. Castiel, Cat Dominic, Maple Apples, and Yvenna. Thanks again for being a valued customer of Whisper Home.